What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Stefano's Magic. I'm your host, Anthony. Um, Nicole is at work tonight, but I want to do a little movie review on Inside Out 2. Uh, we took the girls, our four-year-old daughter and nine-year-old daughter, to see Inside Out 2 last week, and we absolutely loved it. I think the message is perfect. There is spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen it, there are spoilers. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And then I got my nine-year-old daughter, who's turning 10, to talk a little about it, see if she processed what the movie actually meant. I think this movie is so important for all kids to see. I think kids are changing, they're smarter, and they're growing up a little bit quicker, so they need to know what emotions are. And the introduction of new emotions, um, especially anxiety, is super important. Um, I'm someone who struggles with anxiety, and I think, you know, my wife has a little bit of anxiety and my daughter, who's nine, who you'll see later, has anxiety. And I think it's super important to know that anxiety is not a bad thing. Anxiety, if you let it get out of control, is a bad thing. Anxiety is just trying to keep you safe, make you the best, make you the purest, but it can get out of control. And I think that that movie did a great job of showing that anxiety never wanted to hurt Riley. Anxiety only wanted Riley to be the best. There, she was only thinking about the future. Um, and then you have embarrassment, and then you have boredom, and then you have you know sadness, joy, anger, um, disgust, and then another one that uh, new character that I think super important is envy, because when kids get to a certain age, envy is something they've never really experienced. Jealousy, you know, they're jealous of someone, and I think it's super important to know that that's okay too. You just don't take it to the extreme. And I Inside Out 2 just does such a great job of like showing what goes in, on inside a, a mind of a child who's growing up. But it also really relates to, to adults. And um, there's a line in there and they talk about how, you know, I guess you lose joy when you grow up. It's something along those lines. And it's it, it makes you think like, yeah, you kind of do. And it's important not to let joy go. It's important to hold on to the things you like and stay happy and keep joy in your heart because anxiety and embarrassment and disgust and all this stuff can come together and really steer you the wrong way. But at the same time, you need all of them to become the human that you are. You need anxiety. You need anger. You need joy and boredom because it all shapes you as a human being. And I think one of the most important scenes in that movie was when Joy said, anxiety, you can't control everything she does. What Joy failed to realize is Joy was trying to control everything she does by shooting the bad memories away. The failures, the mistakes, the bad memories that would hold Riley back. But that's your greatest learning is when you're held back, when you fail. You don't want to make that mistake again so you learn to be better. And I think that was the most, you know, powerful thing in that movie is when she put all the memories together and they all created Riley of what she was. Um, another funny thing in the movie is Riley's this sweet girl. She's this young girl. She only knows joy, sadness, anger, and disgust. And overnight, here comes the new, <laughs> here comes the new regime of characters. And I just think they did that so well how they're like oh construction zone like this kid's changing they just know how to explain it it, it is super funny it is super cute for kids like our, our five-year-old um francesca really enjoyed it i just think they did such a great job um i do love the hockey aspect of it i love that it has some sports in it because i'm a i'm a sports fanatic but i love that because you do need some anger when you're playing sports. You need joy. You need all the anxiety. So it's good to put it in a sports sense because anyone who played sports or dance or did anything competitive knows that feeling that you get in your gut before you perform. And they did a really good job capturing that. There are some super funny things like, you know, they unlocked her first crush was like a video game character and everyone remembers their first crush kelly kapowski how you doing you know what i mean everybody remembers their first crush and then she still liked the show that was almost like dora the explorer or blues clues with the talking backpack and like it's funny because everyone still remembers that i remember watching we just got a letter years ago and 
it's stuck in your core memory and it kind of like makes you who you are. And it was just awesome that all of their, like, her old like memories she tried to lock away came out to help her joy and her sadness and all that try to get back to creating the, the perfect Riley. And the perfect Riley is all the emotions together. I don't want to give too much away of the movie. Um, there are some super funny parts or some super sad parts or some parts where you tear up because, you know, anxiety is a real thing. And, and the, the scene where anxiety takes control of Riley and, you know, anyone who's had an anxiety attack or a panic attack knows that you just freeze and there's nothing you can do. You can't feel right. Nothing feels real. And when I saw that in, in the movie, it, it hit deep as someone who struggles with a little bit of it. Like that's how you feel. And it's a scary thing. And it's a good thing that you can, you know, you can have a little nervousness and you can have these emotions, but you need to not let your anxiety rule you. Do not let anxiety take control. And that's what I think they did a great job on. They didn't make anxiety feel like, you know, this bad thing, like anxiety wanted to take over, but she always said, I want the best for Riley. I want the best for Riley. So she was never painted as the villain. She did some bad stuff by mistake, but you knew her intentions were pure. And I think they did a great job that anxiety is not a dagger. Anxiety is not the worst thing in the world. Everyone has a little bit of it. It's how you control it. It's how you maintain it. You can't let it take over and you have to let your other emotions shine through. And I love that movie. And I think I'll go see it again. I think Inside Out 2 is a must-see for anyone who has a child, especially Ella's age, that's about to go through emotion changes. And I want to sit here and talk to Ella and see if she comprehended it. I know she loved the movie. She, they're going to have their disgusts, uh, their plushies and stuff. But I just think overall, it was a super fun movie. It, it just, as a parent, it's super important that these movies exist. You know, like, Growing up, we had Boy Meets World and stuff like that where we learned about emotions like Full House and stuff like that. I feel like, you know, Disney's doing a great job. Pixar in general is doing a great job capturing these, making you feel, making kids understand why they feel. And that's super important. Today's technology, you know, because it's just a whole different time period than when we were growing up. So if they can relate and they can get inside the kid's mind and make them relate to why these emotions are happening, why you're envious, why you get sarcastic and when you're bored or why you're embarrassed. Embarrassment is a huge thing as you get older, right? Everyone's a little embarrassed. I get embarrassed when I'm filming and people look at me. You get embarrassed, but how do you control these emotions? How do these emotions work together to make you the person you are? And the message at the end of the movie, after the credits, we love you just the way you are, kids, that hit home because... You know, I feel like the internet for adults and kids paints this how you should be. Just be who you are and people will love you for it. Here's a little interview with my nine-year-old daughter, Ella. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Check out this interview. I am sitting here with my two daughters, Francesca and Ella. Frankie is turning five. Ella is turning 10. We all saw Inside Out 2 together and we loved it. Right, Ella? Uh-huh. I like that it shows like parts of you growing up when you're like turning into a teenager and shows that you get like more emotions. And your emotions change, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's super important, especially for, you know, kids your age, because it shows that, you know, you're going through some changes with your emotions as well with, you know, when you're little, you only know anger, mm -hmm. sadness and joy. And now there's envy. Right? There's boredom. A little sarcastic, too. And there's anxiety embarrassment. and embarrassment, right? Mm -hmm. So, who was your favorite new character? I'm going to say Ennui. She's just, like, so funny and just bored. Like, bored. I feel like I'm her. You feel like you're her? <laughs> yeah. Now, I think, do you get what anxiety was trying to, to do in the movie? I think she wanted to take over because she wanted, like, Riley to be perfect. Because she just wants her to, like, win everything and, like, like just get first place. Yeah, because on the inside, you, you're you always anxious. You're always, you always want to be the best. You always want to do the best. And that little seed of doubt gives you anxiety, can take control of you, right? Mm hmm And we saw that at the end of the movie. Yeah. I didn't like it. You didn't like when she was so super anxious and yeah. stuff? Did you like how they 
put all of the bad memories and good memories together because yeah. that shapes the person you are. I don't like it. I like good memories. Yeah, but bad memories also help shape you. How? Because bad memories, you know, when you fail at something, you learn, right? If you mess something up, don't you want to remember why you messed up so you don't make that mistake again? So that's what Joy was saying. When she was shooting all the memories away, she said, this makes me now. Like, this, all of this completes me. All of that is Riley. The fails, the bad, the good, it's all Riley. And that's what makes you up, you know, mm -hmm. as well as the embarrassment and all the other, you know. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part of the movie? Um, I liked when, um, I don't know, there's a lot of parts. I liked when um, they got back to headquarters. Yeah. And then they all worked together to, like, pull the little thing that Anxiety made. Yep. They all worked together mm -hmm. because um, emotions like embarrassment. When you get to a certain age, don't you feel some type of embarrassment sometimes? I like embarrassment. He's sweet because he tried to help Oh, Saturdays. I know. But do you ever feel embarrassed? A lot. A lot. Yeah. So this movie kind of made sense to why you're feeling the way you are, right? Mm hmm And it helped you understand emotions and stuff. Mm-hmm. And anxiety, because we know, you know, I have anxiety, and you have a little bit of anxiety. Oh, I have a lot. You have a lot of anxiety. Yeah, but it, anxiety is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's, you know, it questions, is this a good idea, or it wants to be the best, or it makes you nervous, but that's not always a bad thing. But you have to be able to control anxiety, and I think that's what the movie was trying yeah, to tell you. Joy told anxiety that, like, she couldn't choose who she, like, you can't choose. You can't who she choose. Is. But Joy was also trying to choose yeah. who she was so by Joy with the bad and memories. Anxiety both messed up. Because you need every single emotion. You need joy. You need anger. You need sadness. You need embarrassment. You need them all to to be who you are. And that's what the end of the movie was showing. Did you like the second one or first one better? I think second. You like the second one better because you you know you understand it more. Yeah. But it did have some fun stuff for Frankie, like all the old memories of like her her childhood show that reminded me of like Blue's Clues or Mickey's Clubhouse. Oh yeah, it had like this little thing um, with a pouch. Like Dora the Explorer with the talking back the talking backpack was super funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you forgot discuss. You forgot discuss. We have discuss. Discuss is your favorite, and who's your favorite? Joy's your favorite? And disgust, but I think Joy more. So what did you like most about the movie? I liked when um, Riley was playing hockey, but like when Joy was controlling her. Like, yeah. you know, in the beginning of the movie. I yep. like that part because um, she's like showing who she is. But like, I don't like the part where she was like taking from her teammates when she wanted to just be. Because like, that was anxiety like, saying you have to be the best. You know, and, and envy that her friends were leaving her. It was all the combined emotions. And when you want to play sports, you want to feel joy, right? You don't want to feel all that other stuff. And also, um, so there was this part in the movie where Riley was hanging out with, like, Val and her friends. Mm -hmm. she, um, we made her, like, sound like, so... They like she didn't her, care, right? Like, what her favorite band was, and she's like, oh, yeah, I love... Yeah, and if you're, you know, but always stay true to who you are, you know, mm -hmm. you, your favorite's Taylor Swift. If someone asks you, say it proud. Okay. Say, I love Taylor Swift. That's my favorite, you know? I love Taylor Swift. Right? You shouldn't be embarrassed by who you are, but she was feeling the embarrassment and the ennui because once she said her favorite band, everyone was like, wait, you still listen to them? And then she got embarrassed. So, but then all, ennui made her sound like yeah, sarcastic. Yeah, that's all the emotions coming out, you know, and I think that it's important that you guys know that all the emotions make up who you are. Even when you're mad, you're angry, you're sad, you're happy, you're, <laughs> and you pointed to her. But I think she enjoyed it too. That's the good thing about this movie is you understood it. She didn't, but she still loved it because, you know, you didn't have to understand it for the funny parts or the, the sad parts, you know. There was parts that every all age could relate to, mm -hmm. and I think that was good. So overall, what do you give it out of a 10? You give it 11? There you have it, guys. Go see the movie Inside Out 2.